How would you like to learn how to create audio files, edit them, and then save them as MP3s? Hi, this is Neil Walters of NeilsVideos.com. Today I want to show you Audacity, which you can download for free. It's an open source program. This is it on the screen, and right now I'm going to click the record button, and I'm going to speak my voice in different levels so you can actually see what happens. So I'm going to do, I'm going to hit the record button now. One, two, <coughs> Three, four, five. Okay, now I'm going to stop. And now the tool that I'm using right now is recording everything on the left channel because it's a mono microphone. So you can see here we actually have two channels and the right channel is empty. I could have clicked the button up here that would have said to record both channels in mono, but I'll fix that later in my video program. So what we have here is the sound files that got created. And now when you play it back, watch what happens. One, two, <coughs> three, four, five. Okay. okay. So hopefully it's obvious what's going on here. When you talk real loud, you get something like this. And then when you whisper, like I did earlier, you get something very soft like this. And then here's where I coughed. So now what's cool about this is you know, you can't really read these symbols, but when you listen to them, you see the spaces in there and you can kind of tell which is which. So this is the number one, this is number two, this is when I cleared my throat, and this is three, four, five. So let's say I want to get rid of the clearing of the throat. I basically just select that and I hit the delete key on my keyboard. Okay, or there's a cut key up here. Then, um, if I want to, I could actually fix this. It's a little too loud. So there is an option on here where you can say effect, amplify, and we need to lower this a little bit. So let's just try here minus uh, 25. You can actually preview it before you do it. Four. And let's see what happened. Okay, I overdid a little bit. So I'm going to use the Control Z key on my keyboard. I'm going to undo my change. I'm going to do it again. So I'm going to say Effects, Amplify, and this time we'll just do a little bit less. And that's pretty good. Now, there's still something called clipping here, which goes on that when you record something outside the bounds of where you should be recording, it, it, you can still lose some of the quality of your audio. But I'm just trying to show you what you can do with this tool. And now this one was too soft, so I want to amplify it the positive direction this time. So I'm going to say amplify, and let's raise it up like this. Okay, why is it not doing anything? That's strange. So we say effect, amplify, and OK. Now I might, have, I might have overdone it again a little too much there. So amplify. Oh, it doesn't seem to want to go in between here. There, I've got to drag the mouse a little slower. And there, and this is the, let's call it the trailer at the end. Let's say we want to get rid of that. So I'll just hit the delete key. And now this is what I have. And I want to get rid of the beginning as well. And so now I'm going to play this back for you. One, two, three. Three, four, five. Okay, now you can still hear that I'm sort of shouting the four and I'm kind of whispering the five, but at least I balanced out the, uh, the highs and the lows there. So sometimes you, you have maybe two different people recording and one guy talks lower than the other, so you can just increase his voice and kind of equalize it out here. Now when you're done, you want to save this to your disk. You can actually save it in two different ways. You can save the project as a as an Audacity file. So let's do that first. We'll say save as. I just created a audio directory on my disk called the C audio demo. And we'll call this demo one project. And notice the I move this up here, you see the file suffix is AUP. And now we're going to save that. Now we want to create our MP3, so you call that an export. You say export audio. 
and then again we're going to go to slash audio demo and this is my demo one and then now here it says a WAV file. I don't want it to be a WAV file. I want it to be an MP3 file. So there we go. Click Save. And you can actually put internal information inside the file. Like this is the, the name of the artist who made the file. This is the year that it was made. This is called metadata. And I'm just going to skip that for right now. And this is what it puts on your disk. Here's your AUP file. And when you have an AUP file, you'll also have a data file, and then it will have folders or subfolders under it, and you'll see a lot of little weird files. And there's really not much that I know that you can do with those. They just have to be there so that later, if you want to reopen your project in Audacity again and continue editing it, you can. Now, you can, of course, open an MP3 file by itself, but one thing that Audacity does, it lets you have multiple tracks. So, for instance, if you had eight different microphones going through a mixer, or maybe you were doing singing with yourself, like there's a famous song where Billy Joel sang whatever, eight, eight, or different, eight, eight or so different parts and he stacked it on top of each other. You can do that kind of thing with Audacity as well. So that's the original project file and then here's my demo one MP3 file. Now if I click on that file, it's gonna use whatever program you have set up on your computer to play it. And so on my computer, uh, this is sorry, off the video screen, I need to pick, I'm gonna pick Windows Media Player. Okay, and that played off screen, so I'm going to play it again for you here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so that's an MP3 file we've created using this free program called Audacity. I've used it actually for many years. It's been well maintained, well supported. They keep it up to date. It has a lot more features, obviously, than what I have demonstrated here, but I'm just trying to whet your appetite to show you what's available. Um, I enjoy doing audios and videos. I used to edit files for a Hebrew program that I wrote where I teach people how to speak the Hebrew language. And then I do a lot of marketing and videos like that on the web. So audio is a very important part of what a person does in the marketing world. So it's a great tool and it, it's been very beneficial to me. So check out Audacity and check out the other videos I have here on my video channel. There's some demos at the end and I think you'll enjoy those as well. And subscribe to my channel if you'd like to stay on top of what I have coming out.